Well, hello there. Hi, guys. It's your favorite mystic, the Siren Sims, and welcome back to my Chanel. We are here with the first episode of Bikini Bottom Legacy. I will splice in here at some point the rules of the first gen that will also be in the description below if you want to follow along. We will be doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing because I made this challenge, okay? So, um, uh, obviously you guys met Sparrow. She did, I did a whole creator sim explaining what the challenge was, how I came up with it. That video will also be down below as well. Um, right now we're living in Monte Vista, which... Maybe I shouldn't have, but I don't know. I gave her a cute Parisian chef theme, and so I want to play her like this. It just is what it is, okay? Now, I hope you guys will enjoy it. I'm going to have a lot of fun. This isn't necessarily a dramatic generation, because obviously this person will be having the personality of Spongebob. Spongebob is not dramatic. He's childish. So maybe drama may come of that. Also, when it comes to love and romance, we'll get into that a little bit later, but we will be looking for a scientist or by episode two or three, I would have made one and placed that person down. Also, um, as you guys know, because I mentioned it in my creative sim, I technically made her dream house that's kind of like the color and shape ish of a pineapple. So she'll be moving into that once she gets enough funds. Technically, she can move into it right now. It's sort of like base game funds sort of but it's too big so i feel like it wouldn't be fair for her to move in there so we're gonna leave it as her dream home okay who lives in monty based out on the countryside sparrow billy jean okay um so we're just gonna get into it right now she is going to go on the computer okay test some stuff out also please let me know below if you think i should add seasons to this game because i will all right today we are Today, here are the objectives we're going to do just to get things started. We're going to get her a job. We're going to get her a pet. Okay. And we are also going to up her skill in Chefre. All right. So this is obviously a challenge that I'm doing. So unlike my other gameplays where I have a complete story set up, I can't just put in the skills I want to put. Also, we're going to see how we can get other physical fitness stuff going because you know martial arts will be incorporated into this as well but in any case thank you guys and i'll see you very very soon all right so we are here going into the spongebob generation of my legacy challenge let's get into the story generation one spongebob squarepants i hope you guys like this little Thing I put above here it was really cute it took a long time to make each of these for each generation but as you can see it has personality jobs all that stuff now you have a heart of gold and just want to make others happy with your cooking your family raised you to be positive helpful and friendly even to your detriment moving into a new town you bring light laughter and good food you bought a two-story tiny house for you and your feline friend. Cat with any gym name you want. You made two best friends, one grumpy and one lazy. Make them in create a sim or find sim for those traits in town. By the time you reach level six or seven of your culinary career, you feel like spreading your love by extending your family. So you adopt a kid age sim. Easily impressed and couch potato trait required. At this point, you know everyone in town and go out whenever you are invited, despite the inconvenience. You have a lot of experiences on your belt, and you boast a jellyfish you caught yourself and a few different butterfly species you collect on days off, at least three different times. You end your life as a wise chef that people can't help but love. So, obviously that's the story there. Didn't really speak much about the love life because it's going to be included in the challenge, but that is the story. Now, the traits needed, like I said, you guys can use the add more traits mod. There's a link to it right here in the orange to add more traits if required. Or you can just have only five natural cook and childish being required. Natural cook, childish, cat person, easily impressed, good, workaholic, neat, lucky. 
because, you know, he is all of those things at different times. So, Lifetime Wish celebrated five-star chef. Career needed culinary, specifically a diner, not the bistro. Recommended town, any European world you like or Monte Vista. I'm adding a small addendum. Any world you like that has a diner. But I like the European world because of the small little backstory I'm going to give you for Sparrow soon. Aesthetic color, yellow, pastel, golden, sunshine, sunset, etc. Now, this is for the create a sim section. Freckles or mold, bunny or book teeth, blonde hair with any race. I mean, you can make a black sim, Asian sim, doesn't matter. Blue eyes, uniform type for every day. You know, like make it, make it be a tie or a dress shirt, something like that for every day. Sim's name will start with an SV or SP, Svelana, Spunky, whatever you want to do. Or you can make a variant of Bob or Bobby if you don't feel like it with SV or SP. Favorite food, burgers, obviously favorite music is Island Life. Zodiac sign is Sagittarius because that is SpongeBob sign. Now, voice pitch high, whether it's male or female. Okay. Charity, give up to $5,000 to charity. Starter money, $1,500 after decorating or just struggling with bare necessities. Okay. Then you can either meet a mermaid or a scientist and marry them. Pet goal, become best friends with your cat. For your heir, adopt a sim of child age. Get up to level four or seven in martial arts skill. Max the chef skill and the charisma skill. And brighten up to 10 sim days. Now, this is not going to be easy. Okay, This is not going to be easy at all, but I'm very excited to get into it. If you guys want more explanation on things, put it in the comments. I will obviously be reading all the comments. But let's get into the gameplay, shall we? Susu! Okay, so right now we are going job hunting. Oh, the first thing that came up was culinary because period. Okay, period. Kitchen schoolio. Now, just to say, um, cooking is like one of my favorite things to do in any Sims game. So... Unfortunately, until I finally complete cooking in at least one of these games, you will see a lot of cooking in a lot of my games. Okay, until I get tired of it. All right. Long nights of professional food preparation could be in store for Sparrow. The best cooks have the right attitude, a strong relationship with the kitchen staff, and a firm knowledge of cooking. That sounds like SpongeBob to me. Now, I will be referring to her as SpongeBob and Spiral because it's the SpongeBob generation. She will be emulating our fair undersea sponge, okay? And I'm going to be dipping in and out of an English accent because that happens in the SpongeBob SquarePants world. But let me just check what other jobs are here. Okay, just the regular. Okay. Except career. There we go. Hey, we got a job. Sparrow Billy just joined the culinary career. She will always remember the day that shaped her entire vocational path. Are you really going upstairs? Just look at the... Okay. All right. So let's just see here what's going on with the pets. Check the neighborhood for pets to adopt. Really quick, baby. I'm sorry. She's gorgeous. <laughs> I did my thing as usual. Also, I added a, a bit of CC into the house. No pets available for adoption. I feel like there should be a way to call for that though, right? So let's see if we can call for services. Yeah, you want to play video games? Very SpongeBob-like. But right now we're going to go and check for pets to adopt. If I have to wait for pets to like turn up here i'm gonna be so upset like one thing i don't have is time okay um police fire department pizza delivery child adoption made newspaper delivery i cannot believe this i can't believe this we can't get a pet right now don't worry, it's fine. I'll either make a pet and create a sim and drop it down or see if we can get a pet the old-fashioned way. Anyways. I'm sorry, she's so pretty that even her face here in the icon thing... I did that. I did that. But there's no pets here because 
this is a chefry place like everybody who comes here like comes to cook it's fine though i think what i want to do is i want to have her cook but let us check everything that's going oh she's hungry uh-huh excellent let's have lunch let's do mac and cheese she's already a natural cook so we don't have to worry about her um burning down the kitchen all right i really do like this fridge as well it's like a newspaper magazines ladles on it really cute i like it all right so she's gonna be making some mac and cheese There we go. She cooked quick too. Anyways, what is you guys' favorite thing to cook? The first thing I ever officially cooked was mac and cheese because mac and cheese is my favorite thing to cook. So this is actually pretty nostalgic for me actually. I might change the stove when we get enough money because I don't like how it blocks her. But I like little painting on the front of it here but in any case yeah mac and cheese was the first thing i learned to cook i'm a big pasta girl then once i grew up a little bit became more of a teenager i learned how to make alfredo from scratch not like pasta from scratch but like cheese sauce from scratch um and also using the cheese sauce cans which is like so much of an easier thing to do so let me know below, what's the first thing you ever started cooking and what's the first thing you started cooking your favorite meal? All right. Because, um, yeah, mac and cheese was my favorite meal. So that was the first thing I ever cooked. Why aren't you not going to the table? Can you not sit here? Anyways. Yes. So what I'm going to do as well, since we have a few dollars... I'm going to get a few things. Oh my God. Yeah, she's mad childish. Clean this up though. And then after that, I want you to just sit here because I just want to see if this chair is usable for you. So just to give a little bit more backstory on Sparrow. She is originally from Bridgeport. She has parents and grandparents that love her. And she's always wanted to be a chef. She's always been very friendly. But living in the city was not the best environment for her. Because when people see weakness, they use it. And so her parents like convinced her that going to some Italian countryside where all people care about is manners and food would be great for her. And she didn't really care much about the manners because, you know, she has enough good manners for everybody that she meets. But it felt really good to be somewhere where she could have a lot of food um, and be around a lot of people that know exactly what that entails. So she had a lot of fun, you know, um, doing what she had to do there. So she took a few cooking classes that she wouldn't burn down her kitchen. And then she decided to move to Monte Vista. It's been a lot, but she's excited. And so I think we're going to have a lot of fun here. So in case I forgot to show you guys really quickly, this is her home. It's really cute. It's right beside her dream home on the other side. I think it's really cute. Um, we're just going to have her check the neighborhood for pets to adopt and then find some discount classes. But yeah. She wants to learn some cooking skills, take a class in cooking. You're already a chef, ma'am. There is no other career for you. All right. So mood and cooking is all that we need right now. She's a schoolion. We are going to be breezing past this chef career. Mind you. Mind you. Donate. So as you guys oh, donate to Secret Squid Society. Guys guys it's like donating to squidward come on now we have to do it we're gonna do the least amount that we can right now because we don't have a lot but each episode hold me to it no matter how poor we get 
we need to donate some money okay so girl i'm glad you got a job immediately because we gonna need this money okay no available pets you know maybe getting a cat could be a thing you know like we keep checking we really want a cat and then we get one i think that would be a nice thing story wise anyways so i'm definitely going to be enjoying this okay handiness classes are discounted today where do we go to get a handiness handiness course am i blanking or do i just not know where to get a handiness course shouldn't it be in the military career or am i bugging Oh, it looks like she got a chef job at the grocery store instead of the bistro. So, okay, that's better because I didn't necessarily need her to get it at the restaurant. Okay, cool. I actually really like how that turned out, though. The Mancini household. Why is this marked? Do I know the Mancinis? Actually, we can visit them since I somehow know them. Oh, is he like my boss? You know what? We're annoying. You know, that's a part of SpongeBob's personality. We're mad annoying. So I think we should visit them. Don't you? Um, Let's go. Also, we're going to need a car at some point. So I'm ready for that. As a matter of fact, let's look at the cars right now. Just so we can see what we about to get in this piece. All right. Now, you guys know the car I always pick. It is this one. Volkswagen New Beetle Convertible. We can't afford any of these cars, which is fine. But now we have a bunch of new vehicles. The Vorn is a regular vehicle. Cadillac Fleetwood. You know what? SpongeBob can't drive. So what we're going to do... We're going to put a cute bicycle sign right here. And then we're going to find one of those cute bikes. Not a lowrider. Ma'am. Sir, ma'am. Okay, yeah, we're going to get a cute bike. Not a fixer-upper. At least not for this gen. Child only. Okay. The 320, the... I'm just looking at the types that we have right now. Ooh, scooter, a glow glow. This is really cute and I like it. I think we can afford it. That's going to take up a lot of our money though. So we will have to make up $700. But I think I want this for her. It's a little technological and I'm not, and you know, no one ever said that SpongeBob um, only cared about the environment. <laughs> what? Okay. Do we want the scooter or do we want the one with the basket? Because with the basket, it looks more like I garden and I chef. But the scooter also looks like I used to come from the city, but now I'm country. We'll stay with the scooter. I'll just change the coloring. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, this is the new vehicle. So we're going to make it her preferred vehicle. The only place we can take it is to work? That's stupid. Oh, no, 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 Wait! Up. let me see I want to see her in it oh she looks so cute already oh charitable from donating to charity it feels great to help out other sims especially when they are in need we love to see it girl you want to eat at a restaurant no she wants to prepare a meal we can do that when we get back from the mancinis oh would you hear that oh look at the scenery of this place do you see the pink? Look at everything. Look at everything. This is so beautiful. That's why I love Monte Vista. It's just gorgeous. Oh my god. The Sims 3 said we gonna do Italy. And we gonna do it up. I didn't say they gonna do it right. We gonna do it up. <laughs> I mean, some might like it and some might not. I think we're close. Yay, we're here. 
Thank God I picked a scooter instead of a bike or it would have taken us forever to get up here. Okay. Oh, he's evil. Is that boss evil? Is our boss evil? That's crazy. Okay, so we're gonna knock on the door, see what's going on. One of them was stuck, so I had to reset them. They said, leave me alone. I don't want to see you. Sir, you're not going to open the door for me? You know what? She's getting tired. So if they don't come, like, at this point... I'm sorry. They don't want to see you. Time to go home, babe. See y'all at home. We're at home and we're going to have some quick dinner. Let's spice it up. Do an autumn salad. We out here. Don't you love this cute itty bitty little fridge? Yes, Sparrow is a natural cook, which means she should be able to master the cooking skill in no time. Which technically means she should be able to cook twice and up her skill level. Maybe three times instead of five. Just wondering. This thing. Oh, I should have used this, but her skill's not high enough. So this is something that came with the Monte Vista world. So this makes you cook like a bunch of like Italian stuff. Country bread, garlic bread, calzone, wood fire lasagna. Um, vegetarian lasagna, pizzas, different type of pizzas, cheese, bread, eggplant, lasagna. I'm so excited to show you guys what happens with this. It's so cute. It's so cute. All right. So she's still cooking. It's getting pretty late. So after she eats, I'm just going to let her go to bed because she is tired. I love the highlights I did on her hair. So cute. Anyways, I would just love for you guys to play this challenge. If I'm already having fun and it's just been the first episode. I'm excited for all the possibilities. And I'm having a lot of fun with the personalities that I made here. Okay, so she actually sat down here this time. I'm shook. She actually sat down there. Hold up. Okay, let's go upstairs. Take a quick bath, then use the bathroom, then wash your hands, brush your teeth, play with mirror. It's hilarious, but we'll have to look at that another time. It's already 1 a.m. and I do not know when. Okay, so I'm just letting her go through her nightly routine, letting her take a little bit of a bath. What time is work? Do you even have time to sleep? Oh, she got a lot of time to sleep. Hold up. Okay, no problem. We got a lot of time to sleep. It's fine. Okay, so I'm going to let her go to bed. And when she does, we'll try to make a new friend, you know, see what's going on within the world, see what's popping. And then I'll be right back with you guys, okay? So, one momento. Well, good morning. 
So I did end up making a sim, placing them down. That creator sim will come soon. But here he is having a casual stroll. Okay, this is Cody Star. I would love to see if we could talk to him, but I think he's on his way somewhere. But yeah, that's Cody Star. I guess you can guess which generation comes next by this man's name. But yeah. Cody Star's taking a casual walk. Can we click on him? Possibly not. It's okay. He doesn't have a job right now. Oh, look. Look at the hot air balloon. So cute. All right, so she's about to get up, pay these bills, you know, get started with the day. Jesus, he's just walking around town. Do you know how far he had to walk to get down here, actually? Monte Vista is a pretty big world. I'm sorry, I love the aesthetics of this house. The whites and peaches and browns. Really cute. I like it. And I love how Sims 3 Sim girlies just walk like models. This is going to take a lot of money. Now we have like, what, like $900 left? Yep. What can we do to make some money before work? Ooh. Check neighborhood for pets to adopt really quickly. After that, I know you're hungry, so we'll just have a really quick meal. All right, um, eat some bread and jam really quickly. And she's going to go to work. And once she does that, I will just skip forward with that a little bit while I try to see what we're going to do next. Just enjoying some bread and jam. I used to eat that a lot. Of course, like when you live at home, like... As a kid, your parents are like, you need to put some peanut butter on that. That's where all the protein comes from. If you have, has anybody else ever heard that? That like you needed to have peanut butter on your bread and jam because that's where the protein came from. Almost like they're saying like, you're going to get hungry a lot faster if you don't have peanut butter with that. And so I got used to doing that. But you know, as you get older, you're just like, look, I'm hungry. I want something quick. I'm going to have me some bread and jam. Period. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. So I think I want you to go to work really early. And I want you to hang out with your co-workers. And once you're done with that, you can suck up to your boss just a little bit. Then maybe later we can meet Cody, but maybe not keep hearing dogs and it's getting on my nerves because we don't need a worm we need a cat why can't a cat randomly come up on my yard or randomly make noises in the back why it gotta be a dog i'm asking for a friend oh my god i'm hearing a child oh look random insects just sitting there Why did it look like she was gliding there for a second? Hang out with co-workers. Fine, suck up to the boss. Simple as that. Okay. It's going up really far. Our mood is good and our cooking is good. I'll see you guys when she's done with work. Okay, so... Sparrow has left work today and earned $148. That is not even partially enough. Like, I gotta be honest with you, that's not enough. Um, but okay. Anyways, just to go out and have a little fun. Look at this gorgeous landscape. Such beautiful landscapery. So cute. All right, I want to go right here. This is where Cody is. 
Cody is out at the library. Okay. Okay, I know you just got home. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see if you can adopt a pet from the shelter and then you're gonna take a bath. Oh, okay. <gasps> French fry is so adorable. We're changing your name if we get you, but you're adorable. Um, Wonton, adorable. Ichabod, short tail, forest. Ooh, it's a kitten. It's shy and it's hyper. I want french fry. I want french fry, period. So now we're going to change french fry to goopy. I think goopy would be cool. Or Guinevere. Mm -hmm. Guinevere. How do you even spell it? Let me see how to spell it. One moment. Okay, got the spelling. Guinevere. I like Genevieve as well, but that's going to be even more difficult to spell. So Guinevere, Goopy. Guinevere Goo is so cool. So cute for a little kitten. We'll just call her Goopy for sure. Okay. It's being cleaned up and checked out to come home to me. That's so cute. Okay. So we are just about to get a whole kitten. Let's pee. You know, take a quick bath. Because they're just going to magically appear in front of our house within an hour, which in Sims time is three minutes. So, I know, I'm psyched too. Actually, let's go get some things for the pet. We have some space, barely, but some. Um, I don't know why pet stuff is in kid stuff. It's so weird. Hold on. This is so cute. Period. Um, alright. So we need something to feed her with. Oh my god. That is so cute. But we don't got the money for it. We'll upgrade it later. Okay, something for the kitten to scratch on. Right there. Um, something for her to eat with. Stump for treats bowl. Yeah, right here will be fine. Um, where's the water bowl? Something to get water. Because I know she's gonna get thirsty. Hold on. Before I get that, always try to see if there's something cheaper. Always. This one is so perfect. It literally matches the thing. Okay. Just trying to see where the watering hole is for the cats. Pet bowl, pet bowl. Chow bowl. Okay, so there's no water kind. Oh, a cat bed for the wall. That's cute. This is for dogs. Never mind. Okay, I think we're good for now. Ooh. Uh. We'll upgrade. We'll upgrade one day. I think this is really cute for what it is. And we're going to leave it here. All right. Okay, guys. So I actually grabbed one more thing. I grabbed this multi-tab. So it's a little cheaty, but I don't plan to use it all the time. I just feel like if she's close to the top, then I'll just use the top cast to bring it over the edge. Especially when she has other things that she should be doing. So, especially since now the cat's going to be arriving soon. Look at this cute supermarket, guys. Look how cute. The cat will be arriving soon. We might head out to the library.
Why is your hair green? Why? I was almost certain. Oh my god! Here's your new pet, Guinevere. Baby. Hold on. Girl, you're not gonna do this to me. You're not gonna look like this when Guinevere pops up. We are going to change that quick, fast, and in a hurry. Okay? Let's show every day. Period. Now. Why do you keep thinking about llamas? Is Guinevere a boy? We might have to change his name then. The Goop. Absolutely cutie patootie. I have a dog. Puppy, really, but it's almost two years old. It's a dog, though. And I love her so much. You guys have no idea. The funny thing about it is that I've had a bunch of dogs over the years. Not a bunch like, oh, there's a whole lot of dogs. But like... When I was younger, you know, you're a kid, you watch TV, and so you think, I want an animal. You know, you don't know what it takes to take care of an animal. You're just thinking of, like, snuggling up with a dog or having a dog defend you when you're scared. Like, that's really all you're thinking about when you're thinking about the fact that you got an animal. But, like, I really wanted a dog. And so dad, like, found one on the street. And, of course, I was like, yo, some random ass dogs. I want these dogs. Never should have did that because I was not prepared to take care of them. I was a little kid. So, of course, my father took care of them majority of the time. And because of that, when stuff got hard and it got really hard, um, one dog was stronger than the other. So the other one was kind of sickly. Um, so, you know, when they started to not feel well, he just ended up like getting rid of them. It was two little puppies, two sibling puppies. And dad just got rid of them. You know, just got rid of them. Um, the sick one passed away. And the other one that was actually its brother... almost ate from him like it pets are a lot I'm just gonna tell you guys that right now pets are a lot and if you're not ready for them like you're just not ready period like you're not ready for an animal okay so now with this dog everybody's taking care of the dog we're all doing our part veterinarian um stuff all that stuff but um For me, right? For me, what's been going on with this dog is that I've just had a very different experience with it. Like, number one, I'm older. Number two, I can do more research. It is what it is. So, you know, that is what it is. But I love this dog. And this dog is very much something that makes me happy. So, let me know if you guys have pets down below and how having a pet makes y'all feel. Oh, that animation is super cute. Oh, she's hyper, so she really gonna like that. That's cute. Oh my god, this is open world. She can literally run out of the frame. Goop! <laughs> what is happening? This is so cute. <laughs> Guinevere Billie Jean. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? They're literally playing tag with each other. This is so adorable. But it's going to take a little while. But her phone was kind of low till we got Gigi. Adorable. I'll be right back when they're finished, guys. And we'll be almost done, I think. Okay, so she's about to cook. 
and Goopy, who I've just changed his name to Goopy, is going to cutely eat out of his bowl. I named him Goopy Garbonara over my favorite Sims 4, sorry, Sims 3 food. I consider this to just be Alfredo. How did you finish the entire thing? That's impossible. Go to sleep. It's fine. You're tired. Go to sleep. Let's see if this bed actually functions. The little kitten. Oh my god, that animation was so cute. Oh, oh look at that baby. Oh, so cute. Look, I love it. I love it here. I love this game. I love it here. Here we go. She's cooking. She's cooking. Okay. So we're almost done. But I really want to see if we can meet Cody. And I really want to level up to at least level one of the cooking skill. Then I think it'll be fair to use a tab cast. And after that, the episode will possibly be done by then. But I had a lot of fun. Also, I'm going to edit her career outfit. Just the hair. Because the answer is no. The answer is absolute no. Um, oh, but what are you guys making for dinner tonight? Um, tonight, I will actually be eating Chinese. It's supposed to be my day to cook, but I had a lot more important stuff to do, you know, like making videos for you guys. So I just, you know, gave my mom some money. I was just like, can you just buy Chinese food, please? I cannot cook today. Um, so that's what will be happening. You know, just a little tip for life. All right, time to do what needs to be done. So we have a thousand dollars. We have our cat, kitten, whatever. They have their food, which is going to cost a lot of money. So we need to start making money. It's up. But she's going to go to sleep really soon. So I'll be with you guys when she wakes up. Day three already. Dang, we get to Wednesday really quick. Okay, so I just wanted to do a little update before we start. It's early in the morning. We're watching a little bit of that Food Network, Sim Network, Food TV. I let Goopy scratch on the post and he just gained the non-destructive trait. Period. Period. Okay, so because they're like a kitten... He will literally... St okay, so Goopy Carbonara Billy Jean has gained the non-destructive trait. He will now restrain himself from targeting my furniture and refrain from causing chaos. We love to see it. We love to see it. I love that. I absolutely love that. Period. Period. Goopy is really tired for some reason. So please go back to sleep. You probably can't because this thing is on... Let me stop being a butthole and just listen to the tab cast instead because the baby wants to sleep. Hold on. You can go to sleep, my baby. Okay. Ooh! Goopy get another trait. Neat. He will now choose to groom himself more often to keep clean. Hey! Hey, look, period, all right, period, okay, I love that, okay, that's so cute, looks like they can get one more trait, everything is positive, we love to see it, are you going to fill the bowl, so you will automatically spend $200 of my money, she's not hungry yet, could you, could you try to not spend $200 of my money, as a matter of fact, Play with the mirror and stop playing with my patience. How about that? This girl was about to spend two hundred dollars that we don't have. <laughs> I'll play with the mirror again. Check yourself out. Let's see you up. I'm going to see your charisma a little bit. 
I think you do need a certain level of charisma, so. Six hours, okay. Level two of cooking. That's good, period. Ooh, and it's growing because of the tab cast. Ooh, charisma, period. Okay, Sparrow is ready for the lifestyle of fantastic conversation, becoming a socialite of renown and always doing the right thing to say. To become more charismatic, Sparrow will constantly need to get out and socialize with Sims in the neighborhood. Well, I plan to do that actually, period. All right, so I think we're just going to end it right here. I know we didn't get to meet our fair Prince Charming, but we will meet him eventually. And when we do, it'll be awesome. So just to go over what we did today. So we are at level two of cooking. We are doing pretty well at our career. We're going to be advancing quickly. We also have some charisma, which is needed. SpongeBob is a very charismatic person. Um, we were able to get a pet. All right. Goopy Garbanara. And uh, we were able to settle in quite nicely. Soon we should start to make friends. Making friends is a part of the challenge. And I'm a little bit nervous about that. So let's just see what all that will be about and how all that will go. Please let me know your thoughts down below and whether or not you would like to play this challenge in your own time. Anyways, goodbye, my sires. Um, Susu. So Sorry, I had to try and simulate drowning. <laughs>